Welcome back to another Labu tutorial. Here we are going to show you how to troubleshoot the Ingenico Lane 3000 and IDTech VP3300 card readers. Starting with the Lane 3000, whenever we are using the card reader, we want to see the word connected displayed on the screen. In the event where you see disconnected, check the attached ethernet cable and make sure it is firmly plugged into your router or switch. It says disconnected. The reason is my ethernet cord of this printer is not connected to a switch or a router. That means it doesn't have any network coming through it. You'll notice that the cable coming from the card reader is really short. It may be necessary for you to use an ethernet extension cable or adapter to connect two different ethernet cables together. Just in case, if it still says disconnected and even if your ethernet cord is connected properly, just restart the reader for once and you're good. It would say connected. To reset the reader, you just need to disconnect this cable from the power brick. Let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds and then plug it back in. Once the reader says connected, navigate to card reader settings in the point of sale, select lane 3000, and then connect. If you have multiple card readers you can connect to, you should match the serial number on the back of the reader with the serial number you see on the point of sale. You can also try disconnecting the device and force closing the app if you are still having issues with the card reader. Then, go through the same steps we mentioned before and your point of sale will be reconnected to your card reader. Now let's take a look at the VP3300. This is a completely mobile card reader that connects to the iPad through Bluetooth. The very first thing you should check is the battery level of the card reader. If it is not charged, you will be unable to process transactions with it. Check the lights on the front of the device. If the bottom light is flashing orange, it means the battery is about to run out, and you should charge the card reader immediately. If it's fully charged, you can try resetting the card reader using the reset button located here. On that uh, reset button, you need to insert something that can fit. Press and hold it for 5 seconds, remove it, wait for a couple of seconds, press and hold it again, and remove it. So this will uh, reset the reader completely. Allow the reader to reset for a couple of seconds, then find the power button here on the side and hold it down. You will get a flashing blue light as it powers up. To reconnect your reader, navigate to card reader settings, select a VP3300, then scan terminals. You will see a card reader listed here, simply tap on it to connect. If you are having any other issues with your card reader or have questions about Labu Pay, please reach out to our 24-7 customer support team. Check out our channel for more videos about printers, the Labu control panel, and more.